Turning now to the monkeypox outbreak. Upwards of 800 people have now tested positive for the virus here in the city. Today, the health department opened more temporary clinics for vaccinations. But as CBS 2's Alicia Reed reports, it's still a struggle for a lot of people to get an appointment. Another weekend of mass vaccination sites in New York City. This is the only one I could get. The New York City Health Department is prioritizing first doses at the epicenter of the monkeypox outbreak in the United States. But each time there's availability, appointments fill up quickly. There'd be one appointment in like the Bronx or something, and then that would be, be gone. And there'd be one in Staten Island, that would be gone. I don't know how I got this appointment, I just got lucky. Over 10,000 doses were being distributed Sunday at three sites in Brooklyn, Bronx, and Queens. I didn't care where it was going to be. I just, I know that obviously this is, you know, a serious thing. and. A lot of people didn't take COVID very seriously, you know, especially just people around me. They were like, oh, it's not going to be that bad. And, you know, two years later, you know, we're, uh, we're wishing we were more cautious. Another 3,800 doses are being reserved for people connected to known cases that have been identified through the health department. I am concerned, especially because I know personally a few friends who have gotten it. And by their accounts, um, it sounds much worse than COVID. Anyone can get and spread monkeypox, but current cases are primarily spreading among gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men, according to city health officials. It could happen with anything, despite um, how uh, you know vigilant I am and keep and staying away from people or not having contact. It could happen just with a hug or something. These vaccination clinics will continue for the next two Sundays, but all appointments have already been reserved. Still a lot of frustration around getting access. Once additional doses are allotted by the federal government, more appointments will be made available to the public. In downtown Brooklyn, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.